Hello, Paul Mitchell, the school owners, team members, and future professionals. My name is Gina Burris. Some of you may recognize me as I previously worked at Paul Mitchell, the school Cincinnati for approximately eight years. During my years at Paul Mitchell, the school Cincinnati, I played an active role in the yearly fundraising event. I'm familiar with the hard work, dedication, and passion it takes for the schools to continue this wonderful tradition year after year. I never imagined I would someday sit on this side of the table and advocate for one of the chosen organizations. Yet, I am here today to share my story and tell you how impactful Bright Pink has been for me. In late January 2020, I found out via mail order DNA test that I was BRCA1 positive. Being BRCA1 positive meant I was at very high risk to develop both breast and or ovarian cancer. I do not have a family history of breast or ovarian cancer, so I was a bit surprised and very overwhelmed to learn I carried this mutation. Shortly after finding out about my BRCA1 status, COVID became a household word and life trapped me inside to deal with both a new virus and the scary knowledge of being high risk for cancer. In the long months ahead, Bright Pink provided a safe place for me to turn when I needed to feel safe, ask questions, or vent to others who had gone down or were going down the same scary path that I was. Bright Pink was truly a light for me to turn to during some very dark times in my life. As I prepare for my hysterectomy with bilateral cell pingo oophorectomy, Bright Pink helped me realize it was okay to be proactive instead of reactive. And as I healed from that surgery and readied myself for my double mastectomy, they partnered me with a mentor who chose a similar path to the one I was planning. The funds you all will be raising during the weeks ahead will help Bright Pink continue to support and grow their mission. Bright Pink is a champion for females and strives to bring trusted, evidence-based information into the lives of all women, regardless of their social or economic status. We have all heard the saying, knowledge is power. What if we tweaked that a little and said, education is empowering? I believe by educating and enlightening others to the importance of proper breast and ovarian health, Bright Pink can empower many women to take charge of their own breast and ovarian health. Having the courage and the knowledge to stand up for adequate health care can help women such as yourselves, your grandmothers, your mothers, wives, aunts, sisters, cousins, and friends live longer and healthier lives. Thank you, Paul Mitchell, the schools, for your enthusiasm and devotion in helping to raise funds for Bright Pink and women like me. I look forward to hearing stories about how great this year's fundraising event goes, and I hope to meet some of you soon. Peace.